community participation in governance transports the dividends of democracy to the grassroots at a very fast speed but not every member of a community is aware of participatory measures required of them to promote growth and development of their immediate community which in turn spreads to the society at large having discovered lack of awareness as the cogent reason for negligence of many community members to their civic responsibilities community life project initiative a non-governmental organization seeking community involvement in governance took the initiative to educate the people at the grassroots through a forum of various communities in Amu Ward of Niloku Council Development Area, tagged a day of social mobilization and civic education forum. While speaking with Lagos Community Updates, one of the organizers of the program explained the essence of the gathering which comprises of interest groups across societal divide, such as artisans, religious bodies, and most importantly, CDA members and executives. The essence of the program is to see how the people will be uh, engineer development in their different community. The chairman, yes, is here. He's a member of the community, but he is not in all the communities. But these people are from different communities within the LG. They know what they need in their different area, in their different communities. So they should be able to aggregate those needs and engage the government with something. And like we did tell them, they are not going to be going there in a the confrontational way. But they should do it in a subtle way, in such a way that the government will see them as people who are friendly. And they too should see the government as because the government, they are the people that put the, government, uh, the people in government there. This workshop is to educate our members, whether you are a market women association, for one, artistant, community development. In fact, all of them, when you call for one and all that of it, there is not one of them that is not involved one way or the other in community development association. Facilitators who presented papers at the event emphasized on good governance and citizen inclusive participation to ensure sustainable good governance at the grassroots. Most of the time, we are the architects of some of these impunities that we see around. The man just gets there and he moves to the local government chairman's office to seek assistance. I will mention a bit more. Someone lost his parents in the village. He's knocking the local government chairman's door. By that, they see that that is all that we need. And those that are major, they corner them. And even to us as religious leaders, when we knock their door, they know that my bishop is only coming to ask of my tithe. The mom is coming to remind me that they have a program I should come and donate. But when we are able to keep those ones as other issues in the AOD that are not primary and they are not even secondary, and whenever we go to them, they know that we are coming to remind them that the road that you saw in our locality when you came to campaign to us, it is two years now and you've not touched it. The primary school in our locality, whose roofs are, are worn out and the rains are showering our kids there in the school. You saw it when you came to campaign to us. It is 18 months now and you've not touched it. And we're able to put them on their toes. They will know that whenever these people see us, they are asking us questions on how we are going about, about what belongs to all of us as our general fund. Just like you've been made to understand that it is a public fund. You have to be proactive. You have to anticipate problems. You have to sit down and analyze the situation you are and foresee what is coming on board, what is coming in future. Participants attest to the fact that they are now well informed and better equipped to positively contribute their quota to the development of their communities and the nation at large, while others seek continuity of an enlightening program of its kind. With what I've already learned today, at least we should be more active in our program and at least how to mobilize people to know more and how we should be useful. People can be useful in our environment. I think I'll be able to gain more 
today. And this type of uh, program is very educative, and I think the program should continue. We have come many things, but we have to learn how to do this. 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 They, however, urge the masses to exercise their mandates efficiently take full responsibility of their destinies and support the administration of Governor Akin Umiambode through consistent exercise of their civic responsibilities. If you want good road, that is your right. If you want good hospital, that is your right. But you, you equally as a citizen have responsibility to pay your tax as at when due. So if you want these good things as a member of the community, you should equally perform your responsibility, which is paying your tax. And if you pay your tax, the government will be able to provide the good needs of life for you. We need more sugar and so tax or do do. So everybody know, I don't buy any more. Like the nigga, I'm seeing the meeting. Why we everybody know, come on, some tax. So everybody had their some tax. But can no come job, come on, pay you should. We want to know, they more wala ra come share on the way of one. Like the nigga, come on, share to buy to fun at it. We still need to appeal to our people to go out and collect their PVC. Because without the PVC, there is no way you can exercise your rights. And with your PVC, definitely, you know, you can perform your civic uh, rights. Getting PVC is a prerequisite to voting. Voting is your legitimate rights. You have the right to participate in governance by voting, electing leaders and people of your choice. If you elect the person that you want, apparently that person is going there with the purpose or the motive to serve. And definitely, he will serve diligently and conscientiously and dividends of democracy will be delivered. <music>